Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Andrea and I'm here today with my second update for musical panning. This is a year-long project that was created by Mari from Patriot Makeup and it's all about music and it's really fun and starting last month she said that people could pick their own songs for the different decades. She's got three songs that she's picked from the 40s all the way through the 2020s, but I'm going to wait until I go through all of her prompts before I start bringing in songs that I pick myself. So I'm doing it like her. I'm picking one song from each decade and working on something from that. And let's just get started. So first for the 1940s, I was working on the song I Don't Want to Set the World on Fire by the Ink Spots, and that is a fiery item. Of course, I had to bring in a candle for that. Oh my goodness. I have this Threshold Red Mandarin and Guava candle. Oh, this is a big boy. I think I had burned it. What? I'm doing a video. I think I had burned it once for like five minutes when I did my Nightmare on Panning Street intro. So this was pretty much brand new when I brought it in. You can kind of see I'm about here. I think I've burned about a third of this. I think this will still be in for a couple more months. But it's a very nice scent. I have a visitor. Do you want to come up? Then for the 1950s, it was Walk the Line by Johnny Cash. And that was an eye or lip liner. I chose my Ulta Beauty automatic lip liner in clear, and I have finished it. So let's see. I used that a total of 35 times from the beginning of the project to finish it, and this is the first lip liner I've ever finished, I'm pretty sure, so I'm kind of excited about that. So that means that we have to roll in a new product and a new song for the 50s. So the one, do you want to get down? Oh my God. So the song I decided to roll in for the 50s is Blue Suede Shoes by Elvis. And that is a blue item. <laughs> and I just rolled this out of my I Heart the 90s project and I'm rolling it right back into this one. This is my ColourPop Creme Gel Liner in DTLA. I'm not gonna swatch it because if you watch that video, you know what it looks like. And this is about, this is broken, of course. And the last time I used it, or the last time I swatched it in my update for Isla Heart the 90s, it fell out. So I'm not gonna swatch it for you now, but I'll, I'm gonna have a 15, I'm gonna have a 15 use goal on this. Like I really do wanna get this out of my collection, but there's still just enough left where I, I don't really wanna fully pan it, but I figure if I keep, bringing it into projects this year and just setting like 10, 15 usage goals on it, then I might actually be able to finish this by the end of the year, which would be nice because this is probably my oldest eyeliner. <coughs> but are you okay? And Nathaniel is sick again. The 1960s, um, 1960s is Bad Moon Rising by Credence Clearwater Revival. That is a nighttime item. So I have my Fleur and B Eyes Eyes Baby Eye Cream because I use the eye cream at night. I've been doing it in the morning the past like week or so because I just, I really want to get this done. Last time I had a big portion of the middle of the jar empty and I scraped as much as I could back into the middle away from the sides because it was getting too hard to use. I probably will still have this in next update. Like you just need the littlest, littlest amount. And for stuff like this, I think I'm going to stop tracking uses because honestly, I, a lot of times I forget, like sometimes I track my uses at night, but most of the times I don't. And then the nights that I do, tra like don't wait until the morning to track my use, but I track it at night, then the next morning I forget if I've actually tracked it or not, and I just, I get confused. So I might not be tracking like skincare items as much anymore because I use them like every day, so. Bud, you're losing your pants. Come here, you. Okay, where were we? I was trying to get this 
filmed quickly because I'm filming it at 6.30 on the night that I want to upload it and this is happening. So. Okay, 1970s, bud, Nathaniel, can you get out please? Nathaniel, what are you doing? No, 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 no. You can turn around please. Mommy will be done in just a few minutes and then I'll come do whatever it is you want me to do. In the 1970s, I was working on Lean on Me by Bill Withers, an item a friend gave you or have a friend choose an item. I decided to have this underneath everything else. I decided to go with something that a friend gave me. So this is my Moira Wild in Colors eyeshadow palette. And this is something that Lisa gave me because she knows much I love peacocks because it is a peacock themed palette. I did this no pan left behind style and as you <laughs> as you can see from my very artistically rendered post-its, I have used every shade in this palette at least once. I only had two left and I'm using them today and one is this gold glitter. And that's in the inner portion of my eye and then the other one is this shade Lost in Paradise, which this has, this is like almost putty-like. It's very, it's very like smushy, but I have that topped on top of a, the light matte green from the Book of Magic palette from Beauty Bay, and then it's also in my inner, inner corner. So those were the two shades that I needed to finish No Pan Left Behind with this palette. So now I can... Now I can take my post-its off and you can actually see what the palette looks like. So I think we all know why Lisa got this for me. So that is rolling out. And then the song that I am rolling in is Wild World by Cat Stevens, an item that makes you step out of your comfort zone. And honestly, I feel like in my collection, I don't really have a lot of items like that. Like I'm pretty... I don't feel like I buy stuff for my fantasy self. I feel like I just buy stuff and then don't use it because I have so much stuff. But once in a while, I'll get things from like beauty boxes or subscription boxes that are a little questionable. So this is a lip gloss from Copacetic Cosmetics. I got their subscription box. I think it's called the cutie box. It's the $10 one. I I got it for a while. I haven't gotten it for a long time, but this is one of the glosses that came in it. And I hope I'm not butchering this because <laughs> I did learn my lesson and I tried to look up pronunciations on YouTube. So this is the shade Craig Durant Castle. And it's just, this is just not a lip gloss shade I would ever wear. It's one of those like really, it's pretty sheer, which is good. But it's got like that kind of dark gray, very cool toned base that I just don't think flatters me and I'm not a fan of. So I'm just going to use this 10 times. For the 1980s, I'm working on Pride and Joy by Stevie Ray Vaughan, a product you're proud of. You have to be really careful with this. The magnet is insane. It's also got everywhere in this palette. So this is, this is just a tiny mini baby blush from the Balm that I got in an Ipsy many, many moons ago. This is the shade In Full Swing, I believe. I like, I depotted it from the little, the little case and threw it away. So I don't, I think, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. But I, I had hit pan in it already, like years ago, <laughs> and I never touched it again. So I want to. I was proud, like, this was, I think, the first blush that I ever hit pan in, and it, for something this small, it took me a long time. So my goal is to finish it. I've used it four times total. Like, because I did repress it, this is super powdery, so basically the first time that I used it, I hit new pan, and it's, it's still kind of like this little palette I've got. It's got little flakes of blush in it all over the place, so 
if I actually like power through and use it, I think this will be done really quickly because it's old and I am not a great repressor and I didn't do a very good repressing job, so it's pretty fragile. So still probably at least two more months on that one, but I will definitely finish it. Okay. For the 1990s, I'm working on Nothing Else Matters by Metallica, an item you'll miss when it's gone. And I brought in one of my My Body Bakery lemon collection items. These were limited edition and I, this is an Australian brand. So it was really hard to get. Like I had to buy them, have them shipped to Lisa, and then she had to ship them to me. Like it was, so I can't really, I can't get this anymore. But this is the Rosewater Lemonade Body Butter and it is gone, let me see. I used this one, I only had to use it three more times. So I, I used, I got eight uses out of this jar and it just smells so good. I do, I am sad that it's gone cause it smelled really good, but I do still have some others from that collection. So it's not like everything is totally gone yet. But that means I'm also rolling in a new song and item for the 90s. So I am going to roll in Friday I'm in Love by The Cure, an item you have a love-hate relationship with. And this isn't, for this one I didn't pick a particular item, I picked a particular category. And for me that's liquid eyeshadows. Like I love the idea of liquid eyeshadows. They look beautiful. And I have several and I never use them. So I'm bringing in this liquid eyeshadow from Eloise in Pure Gold. This is something that Deb sent me a while ago, but like when I swatch this, it's, like, can you see how freaking beautiful that is? And I think I've used this once. It's just, Liquid eyeshadows, man. I'm not buying anymore ever again. I shouldn't say ever again. Never say never, but I just, I just don't use them. So I want to use this 10 times. 2000 So Fresh So Clean by Outcast, an item that makes you feel put together. And that is my brows. So I have this super old New York color browser brush on brow kit. I'll Grab a screenshot from last month because, you know, I don't do pictures because I'm lazy and I don't have time for that. But my goal is obviously to finish this. I do this every time I do my brows and you'll, from the comparison picture, you'll definitely see some changes like both these bottom corners have been cleared out. There's a, I don't think these two like metal parts of the pan were showing. So I'm, I'm actually going through this a little bit quicker than I thought I would and I I think honestly part of the reason is it's it's old she old she it still works I mean that's what I do in my brows every single day but I mean it's, it is quite powdery so a couple more months at least on this because brow products even when they're old still don't go very fast for me but we're working on it for the 2010s it's Tennessee whiskey by Chris Stapleton and I did listen to the song and I didn't really like it. I'm sorry, Deb. It's just not my style. But anyway, that's an item that feels smooth or makes your skin look smooth. And that's my Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum. And I want to finish this. I use, I use this at night. And the one thing this bottle is really, really, you can't shine a light through it. And it's really hard to see, but I will be surprised if this is not gone by my next update. Like, I'd have to guess I'm like down here somewhere. I don't know. I mean, there's not a lot left in here. So that hopefully will be done next month. And then finally, the 2020s, Pac-Man by the Gorillas, an item you can't get enough of. And that is my Cleona shadows because they are gorgeous. So I brought them into this project. Well, not all of them. So these, like, I'm always so afraid with stuff because I've had bad experiences with things falling. But these 18 are from my last order, which I think was Black Friday. And then there's a few, I think, I think these three are from the mystery bundle that came out around Christmas. 
So I wanted to do a look featuring each. So 18 different looks. And I think, let me see. I think... I think I've used... As of last update, I had used three. I had used whoops, these two and then this one. And then as of this month, and I will pop up the pictures. I'll try to scoot over a little bit so there's more room. I'll pop up the pictures of the shades I used. So this month I used this. This is the right one, yeah. I used this purple right here, which is stencil. And then I used this shade right here which is corrosion and then today I'm actually wearing this one this blue one right here called crown jewel it's looking really green and I think partly because it's next to this gold glitter but also I have like black over most of my eyelid so it's on top of a deep base but I don't it's just so pretty the lighting in here isn't really good for showing anything, but I really like how it turned out. It's so pretty. So that was, those are the three that I used this month. So I've still got 12 left to use. But that was my update. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you'll go check out Mari's channel because she, she's so supportive of all of her YouTube friends and I just love her channel. I love where she films because you can see the windows to like, her yard and her dogs run back and forth and her chicken runs back and forth and her cats in her videos sometimes and I just love seeing people's animals because <laughs> I just love animals. So I don't know. Anyway, that, that's it for my update. My update that I wanted to be super short and I've been sitting here for 20 minutes. Yeah, whatever. But what are you going to do? I babble. That's what I do and I'm still doing it right now. So I'm going to stop and finish this video but I feel like I don't know how to finish the video now so I'm <laughs> mm, I feel like if I did outtakes this would definitely be in an outtake so I hope you enjoyed I hope you're staying safe and sane and healthy and I'll talk to you in the next one bye